Yeah. <laughs> what up guys and welcome back to another one. Today, I'm sorry about the wind if it's going but today is the very, very, very last day of duck season. And it's sad, it's a sad day, but it is a beautiful day. We're sitting at like 52, 54 degrees right now. 17 mile an hour southwest wind and clear skies. Yeah, clear skies, beautiful day, it's unreal. So, uh, today being the last uh, duck day, the last duck hunt of the season. It is very, very, very bittersweet. All of you guys that have been here uh, this whole season, last season, you guys know my passion and love for the old duckies. And uh, I'm just hoping I get to hold one, one last time, one of my babies for the year. But we're getting ready to set up, we haven't yet. The ground is extra soft. And check that out, we got all the sheet water open. But the wind's coming at us like this, so we're gonna be sitting at this tree. So we're actually gonna be sitting the spread over here. I wish we could sit up on the open water, but the wind just ain't gonna offer that ability. But we got old Bradley. What are you doing, man? He just, he just had him a baby boy. Baby boy. So a lot of you know Bradley, he went to Minnesota, North Dakota, he's on almost every hunt I do. If you want to give the guy a congrats, drop him a big old comment down below. And you need to follow him. He's uh, one of the main Ducks creators, takes awesome photos. What's your Instagram, Bradley? Bar underscore outdoors. Give the man a follow. His uh, content is ridiculous. But we're getting ready to set up. No spread. Boom! Look at that right there. That's a little hog of a spread, let me tell you. The wind is still just getting it. I mean, it's getting it. It's probably like, like is it 18, 20 mile an hour right now? If we actually shoot ducks today in this nice weather, we already had one group come and give us a look while we were getting set up here. It is 340, so we should start seeing uh, some ducks fly here. But this is uh, the sleeping situation here. Got the A-frame underneath this tree. Wind is actually coming right at us right here. So it's almost a side wind shoot. It's kind of like a diagonal wind shoot, if that makes any sense. But we're going to get in here, going to get sat down. Hopefully we got a trickle of ducks. It's nice out, so hopefully they all don't lift at once. Hopefully it's not too nice to where we don't see any. So let's give it a whirl. Oh goodness, three ducks, boys. Yeah, buddy, you may not call at them with the duck. I don't know. What do you think? They're doing it. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh goodness, shoot him. Oh, who, who was that? Is that you, Mike? That was Jordan, I couldn't shoot with him. <laughs> I was I, for him to hit the gap, I was like, please come a little I didn't there. stand up, I tried shooting sitting down and that was horrible. That was a bad deal, Bob. I whiffed that guy. Well, he came in close like we're wanting him to. Oh, yeah. And I missed bigger than you know what. Hey, that's your board, bird. Get on, get on, back, back. Well, first bird down, I was just kind of leisurely sitting here. I was like, yeah, I'll decide to shoot sitting down. He's all the way on my side. Literally, it was my shot. And I whiffed uh, two shots on the second one. I cut some tree limbs down, I think. And old Jordan, though, thank goodness he pulled the trigger. First bird down. Yep, yep, getting low. Is that a, that's a duck, yep, spec. Spec, boys, to shoot him. Nice, double tapperoni, boy. You two whacked him, huh? Yeah, that's a, that's a spec down. Specs opened yesterday. Little younger bird, you said? Oh, yeah. He's not real barred up, but he's got some specs. He gave it up. Goodness. No calling, no nothing. We seen him. We thought he was a hawk. He was so far away. He just, I mean, he didn't even circle once. He just bombed in. No noise at all. He just loved it. Ate it up. Oh, we got a lot of ducks that just got off the roost. We uh, rearranged the decoy spread. And uh, here they are right here to the left, boys. Oh, we wait for him to keep coming. They're still doing it. Oh. All right, if they decoy again, we're shooting. Dang it. Yep, we're gonna have to start just taking what's in the deeks, even though there's 20 above them. Ooh. 
Oh boy, we got some birds upon us. Look at them flutter above us over here. Oh yeah. They're really, they're really checking us out. You want to shoot these? You want to shoot these too? Oh, here we go on the left. We got more looking at us. Goodness, look at this. Goodness, look at them. They're still working. They're not leaving. Look at this one circling on the left here. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's wanting it bad. This is awesome. Here we go, boys. Ready? Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Oh, there we go. go One. Yes. <laughs> That's oh, in yeah. a tree. <laughs> I, I, got, I got a beat on that. All right. Yeah, we down like three. That was all right there. They finally came to us. My goodness. That was, we killed some Susies on that one. <laughs> we got two Susies down right here. We got a green out back. Well, that wasn't bad. Got us some Susie action here. Not a bad end to the duck season. Not bad at all. Uh oh, we got one in the decoys. Uh oh, he's gonna go do duty. Oh, that boy dead. Almost. <laughs> we just had a ton of birds above us, and we'd have one land, two land, and then there'd be literally a hundred above us still, so we couldn't call a shot. Just, what do you do, you know? Hey, sometimes you just don't know when to call it. If we would have shot one or two, you know, birds, one or two geese, all of them that are where above us would have just peeled off anyway. So, um, might get them trickling back here. There's still more groups getting off the roost. Uh, but we did miss out on some close range ones and twos. There's probably two different times we could have shot ones or twos, but we would have lost all them birds above us. So, again, you make a decision and you just stick with it. Oh, we ain't got much shooting light left. As you can tell, the sun is going down on the, on the yonder over there. Look at that guy though. Beautiful green. Nice. That wasn't bad. We got about that much time for the end of our hunting season for ducks. That's it. That much yeah. time. Yeah. That much time right there. What do you got there? You got some green? Oh yeah. Oh. Hoo -hoo. oh yeah. We're all pretty pumped. Last day of ducks, man. Last day of ducks. Can't ask for anything better. A couple geese coming at us, boys. Well, we had two drakes land beside us. Well, okay. <laughs> well, that is shooting light right there. That's all she wrote for duck season. I mean, it is over. But I do want to show you our spread before we pick it up here. I always do that. Here's the hide. Here's the spread. This is where we had everything landing. We made it real long. Really long. The wind died down and the ducks were actually landing all the way over here. Some of our right side shooters had a shot on them. Big groups didn't want to do it. Big groups of geese didn't want to do it. Big groups of ducks didn't want to do it. I think the most ducks we had, you know, that we took shot on was probably four to five. Uh, geese, we had ones and twos land. We had that speck just come in by himself early in the afternoon and just did it perfect. But what a duck season. I'm happy with it. Well, just got back home here. Unloading all the duck decoys. Gonna be putting them up in storage for the rest of the summer. Put them up where the mice can't get to my bags and eat the rest of my bags up and stuff like that while they're in the shed and storage for the whole summer. But I wanna thank you guys for being here through the entire duck season. Without y'all, the channel wouldn't be here. It wouldn't be, it, it wouldn't exist. It wouldn't be growing. We wouldn't have such an awesome, awesome 
duck hunting community. And that's what I love most about uh, the channel in all is just how I'm creating, how we are creating a waterfowl hunting community. A community that where not only do we communicate down below, but it's just we all share the same passion. And through the content I provide, uh, I get a lot of, lot, a lot of good feedback from y'all. Like a lot of DMs on Instagram that say, Bobby, thank you. You've helped me so much. Your tips, your how-to videos. Thank you so much for uh, teaching me. And you know, that was my plan for starting this channel when I first did. A lot of y'all that's been here for a while, last year you remember, you know, I think it was in October, I got laid off from my full-time job and it was a wild transition for me. It was like, okay, now it's going to be sink or swim on YouTube and that's what I did. I just made my mind up and I just hammered it. I went hard on the old YouTube and you guys have enjoyed it the whole way and I appreciate that so much. Your guys' support allows me to keep doing this. So all my uh, long time subscribers, all my new subscribers, all the people that view this video and haven't subscribed, shout out to you as well. Thank you for being here and supporting me and helping me grow this because I ultimately get to do what I love most every single day and that's duck hunt and crow hunt and pigeon hunt and just learn the species and learn birds and do what I love. Thank you all. But I hope I am providing some uh, informative information for y'all to take with you into the field. We're going to be getting into a lot of crow hunting here, a lot of pigeon hunting. I just bought a ton of pigeon decoys. So be looking out for them pigeon hunts coming up as well as those crow hunts. And we're getting into snow goose conservation season. A lot of y'all that were here last year know how hard I go. I love sitting that e-collar up. I'm serious. So we're going to be headed to Arkansas here mid-February. So be looking out for some crazy Arkansas snow goose action. It's going to be the first time I've ever been to Arkansas. But thank you for being here. If you have any suggestions on hunts that you want to see me do and make videos of, drop a comment down below and let me know. And when you guys pick up something from ducks, like hoodies or hats or whatever, you know it goes directly to support me and bringing you guys more videos. So I will link all the ducks, hoodies, hats down below in the description. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, y'all. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.